Hang on a minute, guys. Okay. Hey guys, Oxbazaar here, and welcome to another 1.9 update video. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at um, the actual game 1.9 and uh, the new features. We're going to be taking a look at bug fixes, new blocks, new enemies, um, new mob mechanics, new sword mechanics, pickaxe mechanics, axe mechanics, hoe mechanics, and I think I said, no, shovel mechanics. And we'll also be looking at um, uh, new craft uh, things that you can craft, which you couldn't craft before, new items that have been added, and bug fixes, and... Um, Basically new everything that's new in the 1.9 update and then we'll be going back to the 1.8 update to compare the differences and see how things work and take a look at um, different things and things that are new and things that are old. So let's get straight into it here. Let me just... Let me just... There we go. Here we are. This is the new 1.9 update. For the PC, and let me just adjust camera. The on my down. There we go. Okay, so in the new update, they have added. Um, so we're, I'm just going to do a quick fly around of the new things. So here, so in the new update, we are going to have a look at the new. Chorus plants, there we go. So we're going to be taking a look at the new chorus plants. We're going to be taking a look at the new ender rod crafting recipe. New squid mechanics and uh, voices, or well not voices, sounds. Taking a look at the new um, hoe, shovel, axe, pickaxe and sword mechanics. Taking a look at a new potion called potion of luck. I don't know how you craft that yet, or brew that. Taking a look at three special command blocks so we have impulse which is normal chain and repeat and if i just go into one of these here you can see it says needs redstone and unconditional are two new things that have been added and this is a repeat it says here repeat click done and uh, we'll also be taking a look at the new purple blocks the pillars the slabs the uh the block no wait the uh, that is the the pit right so pillar slabs blocks and the stairs and we'll also be looking at the new end bricks and taking a look at the new item called the elytra and how to craft these special things we'll get into that later on and here is a quick array of the new blocks and we'll also be taking a look at new beetroot soup and how much um, health that um, takes up, how much saturation it has and all sorts of good things like that. So, first thing we'll be doing is taking a look at, right, let me get a new uh, hand, right, what am I holding, okay. So, the first thing is the, uh, the block. So to create this, you need popped chorus fruit, and that creates popped chorus fruit in the four, two by two crafting grid or the three by three crafting grid, and you need to make sure it's popped, and that gives you um, four purple brick, no purple blocks, uh, no bricks. Hang on, let me just check what that's called. Purple block. Yeah, yeah, block. So that's how you create the block, and if you don't know how to make popped chorus fruit, you need to go into a furnace, and let me just grab some lava quick. There we go. So you put some um, chorus fruit, which is found from the chorus plants, which are in the end city. Once you break the bottom, they all cut, start falling down. Um, let me just put some lava in here. And as you can see, the uh, normal chorus fruit is smelting from the uh, smell the uh, furnace, and once the chorus fruit is smelted, it gets you popped chorus fruit. So if you um, use the popped chorus fruit, you can create oh, you can create those blocks, and from the blocks you can create stairs, um, like any normal stair recipe. It's three along the bottom, two along the middle, or one at the top right corner. You can also do it the other way round. Um, here you have the purple slabs, which is four, uh, three blocks at the bottom along here. And to create the pillars, you need two of the slabs, and that creates you your pillar. And let me just show that the pillar can be placed like 
um, the uh, nether quartz pillars, uh, you can place them upright and sideways, kind of like wood and the nether quartz pillars, as I just said. And um, moving on, we're going to be taking a look at the new um, mechanics of the weapons. So if I just type in game mode zero, okay. So if we take a look at these new things here, let me just uh, put all this, pop this in my inventory for now. Okay, so. Uh, the new uh, thing, so first we're going to be taking a look at wooden, then stone, then iron, then gold, then diamond. So first is the wooden hoe. Uh, wooden hoe, come here. Okay. Oh, that was a new noise as well. So as let me just um, turn on, it's in video settings. And then if you go to, um, where is it? Attack indicator, I've got it off. Um, you can have it crosshair and hotbar. I would have it on hotbar personally, um, so let's go back to game here, and if we go to the um, hoe, as you can see, every time I hit, there's a little um, thing here, it's a little sword, and when that fills up, that's um, when you can attack again, so if you do really quick attacks like this, like this, it's not going to do the maximum amount of damage it can usually do, but if you let the cooldown run out, it will do the full damage. Now the hoe isn't a very good example, and we can do that on the sword later on. Moving on to the shovel. The uh, shovel. Uh, this mouse is rubbish. The mouse that I'm using is terrible. Right, so uh, moving on to the shovel. Uh, it's got a bit of a uh, longer wait time, but it's definitely worth it for the attack that it can deal and the attack that it will deal. And also there's a new particle there, it's a little heart, that's showing how many hearts of damage you're dealing to the animal that you're hitting, or mob, or creature, or whatever. So that just died. Um, every time I hit one of these, a small heart, well, some most of the time, a small heart will come out of the mob that you're hitting. And that small heart indicates um, how many hearts of damage you're doing to that animal. Moving on to the wooden axe. So the wooden axe is a lot slower, because it's an axe, and I guess they've portrayed that. And um, I guess the creators have definitely portrayed it being heavy because it has a 0 0.8 attack speed. So that's really slow. Um, in real life terms, that's actually fast because the hoe says 1.6, 1 attack damage, 1 attack speed. And you'd think 1 attack speed, wouldn't that make it faster? Wouldn't that make it slower? Because the axe is slower than the hoe and it's 0 0.8, so you would think that it was faster and really it's not. So if you um, spam it like this, you can see only the bottom is lighting up and um, it has a much longer cooldown time, but it's definitely worth it if you want to um, beast attack your enemies. And this does do 7 attack damage, so that's, that's the same as a diamond sword, but it's really slow cooldown. Uh, the diamond sword is actually a uh, less, less of a cooldown. Let me just put these back here. Actually, no, I'll keep them in my inventory for now. So, moving on to the uh, pickaxe. Um, how much damage does this do? Two attack damage, so more than the hoe. Uh, less than 1.8, I think. Uh, 1.2 attack speed, so uh, quite fast. Faster than a hoe. And it's the normal mining speed. You, once you let it recharge once, you can just mine for ages until you stop. Uh, when, when you're not attacking something, if you hold down left click... Um, if you hold down left click, they'll just mine for as long as you need to, and it won't um, have to recharge every time you break a block. So, uh, that is the wooden pickaxe, and I will be doing this for every single item, so if you don't want to see this, there'll be a little annotation on the screen now, and that is the number you should skip to if you don't want to see all of this. Moving on to the sword, that's... Moving on to the sword, oops, oh yeah, um, there's a new noise for flicking things around. I'll get, let you guys hit, listen to that. And taking out. Let me just turn that back down again. Okay, so the uh, wooden sword has the same... Uh, has the same, oh no, it has a quicker attack speed than the wooden pickaxe, it does 4 attack damage, I think that's less than 1.8, so 
So that does four attack damage, and uh, the speed is quite good, uh, quite fast. Only does a small amount of damage though. And also, squids have a new sound. So uh, run over here and let's look at the uh, stone tools. So um, I'm probably not going to bother with the stone because that's quite normal. Moving, actually, I'm going to do the gold axe. Uh, there we go, gold axe. Come here. So the gold axe has a really slow cooldown. That's one attack speed. So that's actually uh, faster than the wooden axe. But um, I'm going to take out all the axes and compare them. So that's, um, oops, just fell into the hole I made. Uh, that's the uh, wooden, stone, iron, gold, diamond. So let's move on to the iron. It's quite slow. Let's see how much this is. So that's 0 0.9. So that's slightly faster than the um, wooden axe. And also that's 9 attack damage. So that's more than a diamond sword. Diamond Sword does 7 attack damage, that's more than Diamond Sword, but it does do, uh, it, do it does more damage, but it's a longer cooldown time. Uh, the uh, Stone Axe, then Diamond, and then moving on to the next section. So, the Stone Axe does uh, 9 attack damage again, so that's quite a lot, but it has 0 0.8 attack speed, so very slow cooldown, but it has more damage than Diamond Sword. And the Diamond Axe does 1 attack speed and 9 attack damage. So that's better than Diamond Sword, but it requires more diamonds and a slightly slower attack speed. Oh no, faster attack speed. So Diamond Axe is the new beast mode weapon compared to Diamond Sword. Nice. Okay, so let me just go back into creative. Game mode 1. Okay. Okay, so now we're in creative. Uh... What should we look at next? Right, let's look at the uh, sounds first. So these are a few of my sounds that I like. So shovel, let me just turn this right up so you guys can hear. Hopefully you can hear this. So that's a shovel when you flatten down the... Um, that's a shovel when you right click to flatten down the um, grass to make it the path block. So moving on to the shulker ambient. This is a bit of a funny one. Yeah, that's a bit of a weird one, bit of a funny one. So, shulker hurt when it's open. Shulker hurt when it's closed. And the death of a snowman. Finally, snowmen get a new noise. Okay. So moving on to the new chorus plant. Now the chorus plant can be found in the end. I don't know if you can grow it on land, but I've just demonstrated with the chorus flower. When the chorus flower grows, it starts on the bottom and slowly grows upwards. Usually it's a big white dot, so when it becomes little, it um, stops growing. Anyway, um, and when you break the bottom, that all breaks, and... On average, you will collect about seven or eight. So, what's that now? Eight, that's uh, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. That's six. So, about six or seven or eight on average of how many you'll get. This is a bit of a boring one. Just a big pole. Um, what should we do next? Let me turn the sound down again. Okay. Um, right. Oh, the elytra. That's... It's still too loud. I want it so I can still hear and so I can still do stuff. So, the elytra is a new item that you put in your um, chest plate slot. And if I come over here to the Leap of Faith tower, let me just go into survival. So, game mode zero. Okay, so if we go up here, it might take a while. My keyboard's also a bit rubbish. Oh, climbing, still climbing, still climbing. We're not that high, but we can still fly with the elytra. The elytra, I think, is actually a bug. Not a bug, like a uh, broken thing, like an actual insect uh, that Mojang thought had the really cool wings and they wanted to use it for their elytra thing. So if we go into F3 here, no, not F3, F5. 
and we can pull up and it lets us fly and then oh I did that a bit of a rubbish landing but you can see the elytra does that and if I uh, go into an empty hand you can see that when you crouch the wings come out like that and when you jump they don't really do anything I think you need to be like 10 blocks or so in the air before you can um, actually start flying you need to point your nose down and then when you get to about halfway before hitting the ground you pull up again and if you pull up at the right angle you can actually get like a rhythm where you can fly, fly for ages and if you bring arrows with you you can actually um, shoot the bow and you can hit yourself even further in the air so um, moving on to the new shulker mob let me just get that out here and let me get out a diamond sword so the new mob there we go, and you can see that the ambient noise, that's when I hit it, and if I do that, then it should come after me. Why is it not coming after me? Well, hang on a minute. Hang on. Difficulty. Beastful. Easy. Yes. So he's going to stop going after me, and he also shoots these weird things that try and go after you. And if I let it hit me, hit me, it gives me the new levitation effect. So I'm going to try and beast mode him from the top here. And also, a good idea, if you wear the elytra with this effect on, then when he stops, when I stop levitating, if I do, please stop. No. I don't want it. Run. Okay. Oh, I made a good landing there. That's a beast mode, this guy. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. Ah! I'm in easy. This is proper taking me out. I've got no armor on. Oh. Oh, I do not like this. Game mode one. Quick! Oh, no! My stuff went everywhere. And now I'm back at spawn. Oh, no. I don't know where this place is now. Oh, I can see where it is from the... The form the lava. So... Quickly, game mode one. Okay, so let's go back over here. Collect all my stuff. Stupid shulker. Oh, where's all my stuff? All my stuff is gone. All I have now is an egg. Anyway, so moving on to the uh, last item. Actually, the... Let me turn this down. There's nothing in that chest. <laughs> you guys have no idea what I'm laughing at. Anyway, moving on to the beetroot soup. This is the last thing of the day. Get beetroot from a village and a bowl from wood, three wood and crafting grid. Then you get this. Uh, let me just see. Oh, I broke it. crystals that's glass like this um i have ender in the middle and a glass here and you can only place it on bedrock or obsidian and this is what happens when you hit it bang and apparently silverfish go everywhere oh yeah that's because these are silverfish blocks sorry about that guys so that is the end of this video here hope you enjoyed our the 1.9 update video and uh, the next video of this is going to be a 1.8 comparison to this video so thank you for liking commenting sharing and subscribing so you don't miss a thing and i'll see you in the next video bye bye